I've not even sat down yet and you're already ready to pounce, aren't you? Oh, God. Give me, give me a sec. I've got my bloody hands full here. Unbelievable. Hi, guys. Well, welcome back to Hotman Diggers. Um, it's getting dark now. Time is quarter to six. 25th. Of the 9th, 2022, and would you believe it, it's just started to rain, or sp spitting, unbelievably. We've been on the car boots today, I've bought a few coins, I'll share them at the end of the video, but we've been um, running around um, all week, trying to get the bot uh, plot a bit tidier, um, so we'll start off with uh, cleaning this bed in front of me, um, right next to where the, um, the benches are, and... Um, I took all the calendula out and then I thought what the hell we took everything out so you're going to see what it was like and you're going to see what we've done so here it comes guys easy enough to take these out but as I'm taking them out all the seeds for next year is going in there so when I rake it and owe it um, they'll be buried underneath the ground and come next year they'll, they'll come but at the moment uh, we're just going to speed the camera up now and uh, we're going to have at it I might even need my kneeling mat for this one go and get it Well that's one half done and the uh, in the top bed I will do the other half after I've had a cuppa but I've got to tell you it's hard work doing that and uh, we're only half done half the bed getting all the weeds the deep rooted ones out of the hard ones are hard thing to get out but as you can see um, it's all been cleared on this side. Just left them, them flowers in there. I forget what they call now, but um, they do look nice. I will, I will take the tops off them when they when they die back. But I might even take the strawberries out of this raised bed. I don't know. There's a few strawberries on there just ripening, so I think we'll leave them. But yeah, I've got the other side to do. When it's done, we'll come back and show you um, it complete. But I am going to take all these bushes out. That is something I've got to do. Well, guys, as you can see, we've cleared everything out of the beds. Everything except for the flower just there. And once that dies back, we're just going to cut it right back. And then there'll be nothing in this bed. The three planters along the side here, I've got a load of flowers to go in there. Um, 
we took all the strawberries out of here. They're them alpine strawberries, a dead sign in, a waste of time really. I, f I was told there was something different, but um, I did my research and it turned out to be an alpine strawberry, which could be very tiny. So anyway, they've gone. And so have all the bushes, what was along here. So, um, yeah, this bed's all nice and tidy. Before I go to the tip tomorrow, I might have a go at that, then get my saw and chop all the tops off the yellow flag iris. And when I say tops, we're talking down to soil level. We just hack it right the way back. And um, add a bit of topsoil. And then through the last couple of months of um, this year, you'll start to see shoots come up of that um, yellow flag iris. And next year, it'll be glorious again. So anyway, um, like I say, this is, the, this is what we wanted to get sorted uh, to this bed here and as you can see, it's all nice and tidy. We will come back to this bed shortly. So yeah, we, we took it all out. It was just, you know, I'm going to have a change in there. I'm going to change this. Obviously, we're going to change these strawberries now. I might even bring the blueberries and put them up into that bed shortly. Uh, we did stop there. We uh, we cleaned um, the raised bed at the side as well. So I'm going to show you that, and we'll, we'll take a trip up to Cobbe and get rid of it. It's what we normally do. So I thought we'd show you what we've been doing to complete. Well, it's not complete, but to to tidy up around the um, where we sit. So let me show you what we've been doing. Well, guys, well, guys, well, guys. This is going to look really drastic to everyone, but this yellow flag irises need cutting right back. I want to say right back, I mean right down to the soil. We do this every year, it's going to look terrible at the moment. I'll speed the camera up, I'll show you me, me um, with my saw. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm using. And um, we're going to whack them all, all back. And you go, oh my God, that ain't how to do it. Well, I guarantee you, next year it'll be just like that. If you go back last year, you'll see me doing something similar. And um, that's that's what happens. So we're going to do it now. So the new growth starts to come through. I've just seen Buttercup. She's just, oh God. She's, uh, well, she's going for a drink of water. Anyway. We're going to cut this right back now, so let's have at it. Got me saw, and we're going to saw these uh, yellow flag harvests right back to the ground. And uh, when I say right back to the ground, right back to the soil. We do this every year. Um, I've got a few bin bags, a few, a few bags here. The one what we're going to be putting in is that one. But um, yeah, we're going to set the camera up. You're going to see me going in there with me, me saw, me rip saw, and we're going to cut them right the way back. Uh, there'll be nothing sticking above the ground. So here we go. You might think that's brutal, but I guarantee you next year they will come up and they will be absolutely awesome. We do this every year. Anyway, I think it's uh, a tidy up here. We'll get all this put in that bag and uh, that's a trip to the tip. But yeah, that, um, what I've just done there, will help them yellow flag harvests. Give it about six weeks and you'll start to see new shoots coming through there and that's uh, next year's growth right anyway we'll tidy up and i'll show you when it's all finished so i'll be right back well guys uh, as you can see we've uh we tidied up this um raised bed it might look brutal but i assure you 
happy will all come up um, next year um, I will be painting the furniture a lot of jobs to do before that but it gives me something to do in the winter months um, painting um, what we'll probably end up doing is um, putting some flowers in the there's some planters just down the edge here I'm going to put some flowers in them I might even put some flowers in here for now but um, yeah the the beds all nice and tidy um, I think it's a trip to the tip what do you reckon I'll pull the car up and then we'll head off up there dump that and um, come back and probably plant some some flowers I think before we do that I can see my flask over there so I'm going to take a sit down and have a drink so that's what we can do in about a moment or two before that she like guys never mind Shoo. Right, I'm gonna go up to the tip leave her there <sighs> bloody hard work when I've got a cat to deal with yeah I'll go get that up to the tip so let's get round there now before I change my mind so guys have a ride round to Cobby tip Left her, left her there after throwing her off the roof of my car. I tell you, um, I don't do much, but when I do it, <laughs> we get stuck in. Um, this lot, what's in here, um, I've got no room in my compost bins at the moment. Um, what we will be doing, once we've built all the raised beds, I'm going to be tipping all that compost into basically into the into the beds what I've just made the new beds uh, we will make new um, compost bins and uh, that's Tommy right anyway I'll swing the camera around so you can see where we're going so I'll see you in a bit guys I managed to turn the camera off then right let's, let's speed things up
Normally have to walk to drop it in. Be polite. The next time when you screw up, if they recognise you, um, they forgive you. Not that I ever screw up. I come here quite regular, uh, dropping stuff off, rubbish. Bloody big truck. I think we'll go the, uh, the opposite way. Underneath the arches here and back home. Swing the camera around. Someone's skiving there, workman. I say I've not got this camera mounted, so it kick, when I hit the brakes, it falls over. It's probably it's done it three or four times on the journey. God, these have been it so many times over the years. Anyway, we're going up Brindle Leaf Road here. Take her a left. I ain't having going to having to go the same same way back. But anyway, we're heading back to uh, towards the allotments. So I'll catch you back there. In a moment or two. So the next thing I'm going to show you is put my plant collars on me rest of me um, me, me cabbages. Now we got we put some cabbages in and um, some kale and what have you early um, a week or so ago, and um, we didn't have the collars um, to put on them. Anyway, I ordered some. They've come, so I'm going to show me putting them on now. Hey guys, I'm just uh, just got the the rest of me me plant collars here. And um, I thought what we'll do before we start planting them out, uh, putting them on the um, that's a bit silly, went the wrong way there. But concentrate what I'm doing here with this because there is a right way and a wrong way to do these, and uh, yeah, the. Keep the slugs at bay and there's a few other things that as well like keep at bay and what you do just sit them hook them round and push them down on around the uh, brassicas uh, i've got 20 of these to do good god and then what we'll do we'll go and um finish all the brassicas off in the the bed bloody robin it's a bit chipper but where Buttercup is, I think she's with um, with Tracy and uh, Rick, which gives me a bit more time to to get these sorted. God, I've already done three. And it's a bloody nightmare. I've got another. Tw I've got another nineteen to do, seventeen to do. But uh, yeah, we, we. I think we paid. Uh, I think there's, a, there's about sixty there. I think we paid four quid 
um, on eBay for them. And I think they've got copper sulfate um, embedded in them, so as soon as the uh, the slugs touch them, it gives you know it, it deters them, which. Uh, if it if it works, great stuff. That's what we want. But uh, yeah, it's taken. It's, it's very very slow going. This. I think there's 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 a right way and a wrong way, and the way I'm doing them is the dull side down, shiny side up. And that's the way it is. I say it's just an experiment. I'm gonna. I've got actually bought. I've got some more cabbage to put in as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing in a minute. We're gonna be putting these in. And uh, I've just been preparing me my new bed. I'll show you me doing that in a moment. I'll show you what I've done there. Right, anyway, I'm going to continue doing this because it's, like I said, I don't want to be messing about when I get down there doing it. I could do it here while I'm sat down. Uh, be it all the better for me. Right, how many have we got there? Two, three, four, five, six, and God, seven. Thirteen, I'm lucky for some. So these are my, um, my cabbages and what have you and uh, you know what I'm doing <laughs> how the hell I'm just putting these uh, plank, plank collars around it and uh, well I'm one to I've oh, got the collars but these are the ones just over here these are the ones without them so yeah I'm just quickly uh, putting them around and hopefully that should keep all these um, slugs and everything else at bay I don't know if they're going to do any any good or not, but uh, we won't know until we try. But um, there's one over there. I'm going to have to lift the net over on the other side as well. It's a a simple enough job to do this. Like I say, they just hook around, just like that, and well, we've got a few more over here, and I'm gonna have to get over the other side there. Oh, this is fun. These ones are a little bit small, but I think they'll be okay. I think they'll be okay now they've got these on them anyway. Wondered where that was. Now I know.
not done enough, have I? One, two, three, four, five, five. I need to do another five. Oh well. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute and I get them other five round there. So give me a second guys, I'll go and get some. In fact. In fact we've got them here. What did I say I didn't want us to be doing? Messing about with these on the bloody floor. Right, so. Bear with me. Last one. So we've got the collars on every one of these um, brassicas. So hopefully um, they won't get hammered by the slugs. He says, looking at a few of them, I've had a couple of nibbles, but they should be okay. Anyway, I'm going to get this uh, net back over them before the bloody uh, butterflies get in there. Otherwise, that will be it. Right, let's get the net back on. So there we go guys, they're all secure in the netting, nothing can get in there, that's good. Hopefully we'll get some really nice um, brassicas out of that bed. So yeah we managed to get them all on and a mate of mine, um, he had some of these plant collars and he only did half of them and um, the, the half that he put the collars on had done really really well, really doubled in size compared to the ones what hadn't. So I can only imagine it's the um, plant collars which have um, which have out there. Anyway, um, I've got these uh, Dutchman um, cabbages, and I, I decided to to put them into the the raised bed that we just built last week. And I'm um, gonna add a load of blood fish and bone. Well, you've got to see what we're doing right now. So check this out. Well, guys, you join me. I'm going to put my me, um, me Dutchman cabbages in today. I've got 12 of them here. So what are we doing? They're in the frame. So all we have to do is blood fish and bone. Actually, not blood fish and bone, lime. We've already done blood fish and bone. So it's just a matter of uh, checking, making sure there's no, no slugs. In fact, I've actually got some some plant collars here, all done. Don't know if you're getting any of this, but uh, yeah, we're just going to get all these in here. So it's straightforward, really. It's, it's not rocket science. This compost is really, um, really fine. I don't even need a trowel. The, the, the roots are really well um, established now, so it's just a matter of flopping them in and uh, sticking a plant collar over them. That's it, really. So, do a couple more. Again, I do not need 
to do any watering because the, the soil is absolutely sodden. I'm doing 12 of them. Yeah, good root ball there. Plant collar. Gonna have to go around the other side to do the others. I can do this one. Beautiful roots on them. 
and that's what you want you get your roots started on these brassicas if you've got any any club root in your beds make sure all your seedlings have got good roots on them otherwise they're just going to get hammered um, by the club root before they even get off to a start these collars are just to keep the slugs off everything and uh, let's see the lime brassicas love lime so, neutral pH you know, trying to get a pH of about 7, 7.5 for brassicas and um, if you can get that you cracked it pH in this this bed's around that we did test it last one Absolutely fantastic then. Last plant collar. Bit more lime, sprinkling it around. So there you go, brassicas, the Dutchmen are already in, 12 of them, we've got the plant collars on them, um, they've got a really good root system, I've just limed them and put more lime on the surface, when it rains it'll soak in, all we've got to do now is protect them from the butterflies and everything and uh, there you go, all done. So oh, yeah, them, them brassicas are in, we've got a lot more brassicas still to go in, um, I've, I've got all sorts to go into the beds, even though it's winter, um, we're still throwing them in, and um, I decided then to actually clean the other plants on the other side of um, the, the, the middle green now, so I've got a clip here showing me doing that. Well guys, I should have really have, uh, trimmed this, um, took all this uh, foliage out of this bed before I set off for the... Um, tip earlier today but we're gonna um, do this now we'll, and it's pretty easy to do like I say I've got my saw and I'm just gonna cut everything out of this bed and um, got a bag on the floor there and that's where we're gonna throw it all anyway um, a time lapse I'll, I'll, I'll speed the camera up and show you what we're doing but basically we're gonna go right back to um, the, the soil Better put these to one side Stick them in the clamp hanging basket. We've uh, cleared this bed now. We took all the tops off these uh, yellow flag garrises and what was left of the uh, gladiolus. Like I said they've all flowered, so it's just uh, we just cut them all back. I mean, it looks drastic when I'm using that saw, but it really does work. They'll all come back next year. Um, the, the, that white powder that you see there is ant powder. In, the, in that bed there, there's a, a nest of ants, so 
I've just sprayed where they are and uh, hopefully some other they'll all be gone uh, we'll put some more sp uh, spring flowers in there there's a load of spring flowers quite honest with you right now in there but uh, we will stick some more in this one and the one over on the other side um, but like I said them yellow flag irises they will come back next year I'm just looking at there there's some ants what are coming out there they've all got wings so obviously the queens so I think we've got them right at the right time otherwise we'll be having bloody ants nests everywhere so after that I decided then to to, to plant some pansies and um, some uh, uh, um, what are they call violas um, which I was given last week on the the car boot so I'm gonna show you was working here and putting them into the planters and then i'll show you where we put them at the after we've done it so uh, have a look at this and we'll be right back <laughs> well guys we've got these planters so they've got to be careful because they're full of bloody ants uh, i just lifted there's ants everywhere at the moment um I lift a pot up and suddenly a, a, an ant appears anyway we've got lots of these little plug plants uh, which we've been given so I thought, what the hell? Let's get them in. And uh, brighten up the place. I do like them, them um, orange ones. A tip when you're picking flowers as well. I mean, there's a lot of flowers on these. Um, Need to put them where oh, struggling to find somewhere to stick them so I can pull them out. But on these, what you want is the flowers that are just starting. You don't want to go and get them when they're all flowering if you can help it. Um, however, these was some was given, so beggars cannot be choosers. And uh, yeah, we'll throw a few of these in. I think what I'm going to go do two with these um, violas, and we'll do one with the um, the pansies. I'm getting covered in muck here <laughs> as I'm tipping it, doing this. Just killed one. Plenty more of where they come from. Yeah, we nice and wet, and we don't need to wet the soil because it's been outside this. So no doubt they will pick up. Give me a second, I'll put this one back and we'll grab another one. Right. Do some of these. I say you want to get them where they just starting to flower if you can. we'll do to produce more fruit more flowers um, but you what you got to keep doing is taking the old flowers off I say these are pick up
will say inside here as well are actually some um, some spring bulbs so not only will you get these flowering when they die back you get the spring bulbs coming up right, I've got one more to do so I'll show you when we've finished but what I'll do is I'll use some more of these uh, violas so uh, we cleared completely cleared this bed uh, took all these strawberries out we took all the currant bushes out we took all the calendula out we put some um, violas and uh, pansies in these uh, three planters here um, we left the one flower in there absolutely lovely I forget the name of it but it is a pretty flower and um, well, there's nothing in this central planter however if I can find the right strawberries I will put them in um, we cleared this planter and the one behind the greenhouse I do need to clear all these pots and everything out of the way this is a seating area after all and uh, I will put some more flowers around here we put a few violas in these planters here just to brighten them up a bit more um, all these plants what plant pots what are on this uh, chair I'm going to be using them shortly to to put on some rosemary bushes and um, we'll give the ones what we don't need away so this is that flower that we've left in the um, the in the bed what we just cleaned and uh, it's got some beautiful flowers on it there it is in fact there's a couple of them in there but we took everything else out and left this one in and it is gorgeous I forget what it's called now I should keep a track of all my labels so as you see there um, they, they're looking they look nice where they are we've we, we will be putting um, um, more flowers into that bed um, eventually anyway we, we, we've got loads more clips to show you but I'm, I'm running short on time here I do know this is a very long video be quite long videos but then again you don't have to watch um, adverts do you well I hope you don't if you do let me know um, we're in the um, front greenhouse, we had some orders yesterday, bring some peppers and then the Moxone um, peppers home so I went in, I got a couple, we don't need to take them all out, we just take what we need and uh, I was surprised to see one of my buddies in there, I've not seen him for a bit but he had been in there a long long time, let me show you these peppers and I'll show you my buddy just getting a few peppers out the greenhouse and <laughs> I just noticed down there Frog. He lives in the greenhouse. Um, these Joe's longs ain't ready yet, but there's quite a lot of them. You see, they're just starting to go red now. It's difficult seeing these peppers with all these big leaves, but uh, yeah, some nice peppers there. Buttercup, what she like. Some more there. All these doing really well in this greenhouse and uh, it's we're just gonna leave them for now we've we've harvested so many out of here of these I mean just look at them absolutely awesome so she just asked me to get bring a few peppers home so that's what I'm doing and um, won't be long before we be bringing some of these home Joe Long Make some very hot burgers. <laughs> and like I say, there's absolutely piles of them here. Camera's not probably not picking them up, but everywhere you look, you can see them. Anyway, I've got the ones I need. So yeah, there's a, there's a couple of frogs in the green in that front greenhouse, and they've they've always been in the greenhouse. Um, they've lived in there. They, they, it's, it's, the, there's water in there for them, um, you know, so they don't dry out. And um, each year they lay the spawn in in, um, in the tray that we've got in there, and then we bring it out and put it in the pond. So you know, um, they've been in there for for a few years, and that one there is, is, I'm sure it's been in there for about three, four years. I don't know how long they actually live. You probably can see some tomatoes there. That's my next order, is my mother. You got some nice juicy tomatoes, Mark. Um, 
and um, she'd been mithering me, sending me messages. So I've come down and got the selection of um, um, these California Wonder. There's some beef steak in there, and there's some others as well. Some some weird, wonderful tomatoes. So I'm going to drop them off in a bit. Uh, but we've got one more clip, and it's uh, like I said, we've been on the car boot today. It was on the car boot yesterday, and we picked up a few coins. In fact, I got um, a coin book full of coins yesterday. Um, one of my mates has given up um, selling coins now and he had this book he said look he said you can have them all in the book a pound a piece and some of them were like six seven eight quid you'll see the book and there was a load of um, 2018 um, 10p's with all the letters on now we just completed the 2019 set I'm going to show you that first this is the one we just completed it's cost me 60 quid to complete it all together so that's how much it's cost me I've just seen one sell on eBay for 140 quid in, a, in, in the um, book they're 180 quid so we, we've done all right we've done good but um, yeah this book what I bought had these coins and we only need I think it's about seven or eight coins left we need so we're gonna we're gonna collect them as well get them and I got a bargain um, the, the book itself it cost me 50 quid there's about four or five hundred quid worth of coins in there because they're, um, they're actually um, sets of um, Alaman sets and um, and um, Falkland sets and there's not just one or two there's a few sets so and on top of um, the, 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 the the ten pences and we've got a proof set which we bought now I don't know if you've seen this um, this 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 one but I have got another one identical so I'm going to show you anyway but um, it's a, a proof set and it's um, where decimal changed so you got pre decimal and decimal in the same proof set, it was, um, it was uh, 1969, I think it was. So let me show you these, and then we'll knock it on the head. Well, this is the full set of uh, 2019s. Now I've got about four sets of these. So I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G H, I, and then J, K, L, M, N, O. P, Q, R, S, T, we've got U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, so there we go. We got them all completed. Another set. So this is that coin book that I bought. And as you can see, these are some of the coins. These are, some of them are Isle of Man, some of them are Falklands, and the sets. Here's another one. So, we acquired all these. Right, so these are the, uh, the, the Tempe's. And uh, this is the 2018. And the ones are missing, them ones. However, the two coins there, it's almost as worth as much as what I paid for the book. So yeah, so this is the book. And I got a bag in and a half anyway. Moving on, so this is the first complete decimal issue um, of the 18th of 19, 20, uh, 1971. And what you're looking at here, this is the complete um, set. Like I say, you can see pre-decimal and you can, you can see decimal um, where they changed over. Uh, that's the very first proof 1969 these baddies they're all proofs by the way all oh, this is a complete proof set this set probably set you back about 60 quid um you don't get them like this this is what it, it comes in a uh, thumb out it's just <laughs> trap your thumb in it but that's what it comes in queen elizabeth uh, set 
if you can get them like that you cracked it so this is a proof set i do have all the proof sets but this one's a special one thought i'd share that with you and i actually bought that today did really well and i paid eight pound for it yep 60 quid they are on ebay i paid eight pound so there you go we get lucky really do get lucky on these car boots i've had uh, some fantastic results and um, yeah i'm sort of uh trapped it look at her how she sneaky little bugger she is i've got her warming this day and this cup of coffee warming that day well it ain't good now it's going to warm the inside now what's it got lord of the manor <laughs> It warm me up that much it's very cold <laughs> still um we've managed to managed to get it drunk anyway i'm gonna end off now uh, like i say it's it's just coming up to six o'clock um i've got to edit the video i've got to um i've got to put it all together i've got to render it and put it up on the the website on the website on, on the fate on youtube and I've actually got to make a thumbnail, so I better crack on, aren't I? Otherwise, you're not going to see the video tonight. Um, last week we had a problem. There was a crook file, and I tried until half two in the morning trying to upload this bloody f this video, and it would not upload. It turns out it was um, some kale um, what I'd done a, a video of, which you will see in the next episode, hopefully. Um, me potting it on. It was it was that file that there was a problem with anyway I've, I've sorted that file out so uh, yeah you'll see that in the next one but that's it for now I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video uh, don't forget to leave a comment I do like to reply to each and every one of you and um, as you see I have missed you it's not because I've been ignorant it's just because YouTube sometimes doesn't put all the video all, all the um, all the messages up and I think I found out the reason why if you make a, a rude comment <laughs> uh, it's it filters it out so that might be the reason so I've been checking that as well to make sure so I'm getting all your messages anyway like I say from me and Buster Cup stay safe bye for now folks yeah, I can feel it spitting Apparently it's sun shining tomorrow, but right now it's going to chuck it down. So I'm getting out of here. And you, baby, go and eat your dinner. You made me put it out for you. Better go and collect the eggs out, the chickens. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Come on, you. Get down. You're not going to get off, are you? Oh, I've got you. Up there. Get on there, you little devil. Never mind me.